Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we dreamt we went to Mandalay again. I'm your host, E, and today we're asking what that dump truck do. Today we are talking about Bag of Bones by Stephen King, which I believe is another one of his underrated books, but you guys can discuss that in the comments. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. In this series, I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's work, so if you haven't read all of his stuff, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. So how does Bag of Bones tie into the Dark Tower series and the Stephen King universe in general? Let's talk about that. The locations in Bag of Bones, Kiwaden Pond, I'm probably mispronouncing that, my apologies, and Sarah Laughs both show up in Bag, oh, sorry, in Song of Susanna as mentioned by this commenter. Dark Score Lake from Gerald's Game is also mentioned in this one, as is the notorious Inside View, the tabloid that stretches all across the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower series. In my original video, I somehow, somehow missed that Mike Noonan from Bag of Bones has lunch with Ralph Roberts of Insomnia, as mentioned in this comment right here. I don't know how I missed this. In fact, in the original video, I said this. I want to jump into the hardest part about this book, which is trying to connect it to the Dark Tower. Um, I never have found any connections to this one, so this one is where I hit a speed bump with my own theories. Whew. I don't know what that goon brat was talking about, but yeah, the disappointment, it drips. Especially since Mike Hanlon and Bill Denbro are both mentioned in this book, and those are characters from It, which ties directly back in to the Dark Tower series. Then we have the mention of Norris Ridgewick from The Dark Half, Alan Pangborn from Needful Things, and even Polly from Needful Things is mentioned. Again, I don't know how I made that goof and why my brain completely shut off, but there's a follow-up video to the original theorist video called Back of Bones episode 21.5 where I go into more, more detail, but I still did not mention all of the stuff that I missed. Sorry doesn't cut it. And finally, we're going to talk about Thaddeus Beaumont from The Dark Half. Thaddeus Beaumont from The Dark Half, his story for the most part ends at the end of the dark half but then king decided to carry it on further in needful things the sun dog and finally in this one in bag of bones we have a complete character arc that happens after the events of the dark half in which thaddeus's story is told more in depth until finally we reach bag of bones and spoiler alert again you need to click away if you're worried about spoilers in three, two, one. My finger's broke. Thaddeus Beaumont's suicide is mentioned in Bag of Bones, and that is the end of his storyline. But that's all the time I have for you today. If I missed anything, if you have any corrections of anything I said in this video, or if you have any theories about ba how Bag of Bones connects to the Dark Tower and the Stephen King universe, let me know down there in the comments. But until next time, all hail the... What? If, 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 you, if you've seen the, uh, the mini-series of Bag of Bones with Pierce Brosnan, hopefully you got that joke. All hail the chair. Bonus content. Uh, this is Editor E here. An entire week after I shot the original video. And I stumbled across one last thing that I failed to mention. So, pardon me for looking disheveled and bedraggled. But, uh, here's what I missed. Mark Gillespie3971 had this to say. Now, I do not remember this. Patrick, if you'd like to look it up, you can. I do not remember this. Uh, but I wanted to point this out, so thank you, Mark, uh, for the comment. Again, this is unconfirmed, so you can check the comments for Patrick. Patrick has all of these books downloaded and can do a search. And by the way, Patrick, I have never been able to get it to work, so I just left it alone. If you want to quote it down there in the comment section, I'd appreciate it. But wait, there's more. Another one. My good friend Tracy Robinson had this to say. Um, and I do recall uh, other people bringing it up uh, while I was on Twitter. Um, I do not, I no longer have a Twitter and all those tweets have been deleted. But yeah, The Outsider pops up at the end of Bag of Bones. Unfortunately, I recorded the original Bag of Bones video before The Outsider came out, but Tracy came afterward and mentioned it. And yes, it is in there. 
I don't I don't know why this book and these the videos for Bag of Bones take so much out of me. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, that's everything. I I believe. Thanks for hanging around. I'm gonna go back to bed. Bye bye.